It was 3.25 p.m. I was playing Minecraft with my friends while my mum went shopping. A few seconds later, I heard a ring at the doorbell. I looked through the peak hole on the door, but nobody was there, so I opened it. I saw a package on the welcome mat. I brought it in and opened it. To my surprise, it was a Finding Nemo DVD. Not just any Finding Nemo DE, but the 2003 two-disc collector's edition. I thought I already owned this DVD, but I saw something was off on it. The original title on the front of the DVD case was covered in red marker, and it also made me felt suspicious about this DVD. I looked on the back cover. The fax certified print logo on the back cover was also written in red marker. I decided to just watch it to find any differences this DVD could have contained on it. I went over to my computer and told my friends I had to leave for something. I opened the DVD player on my computer and put disc one in. The FBI warnings came up like normal, but the menu screen was different. The music was kind of distorted, and Marlin and Dory didn't speak like they would in the menu. I took notice of that difference, but just shrugged it off, and I pressed play. The Theex text too. Mook and trailer played, but it was also off. The Theex logo appeared in a dark background as usual. There was about 10 seconds of silence until the Theex mascot. Tex dropped down to the ground so fast, I almost fell off my chair. He looked at the camera and pulled out the Moo can, but it was red, and the cow that was labeled on the can was dead. Tex gave the Moo can a small shake, but there was no Moo sound. He pressed the button on his chest, activating the jetpack on his back and flew to the X and took out the cord like normal. He plugged it in the Moo can and gave it a small shake again. But instead of moo sounds like in the actual trailer, there were sounds of cows being slaughtered. The cow sounds were so loud Tex dropped the moo can to cover his ears, but it was not enough and his head exploded into a pile of gore. I was disgusted. Then it faded into a black screen, with a text saying the best sound, the best picture. You're watching a Theex certified feature, but the text was red. I was shocked from what I saw. The Walt Disney intro played. The music was still distorted. Then it faded into the Pixar intro, but when the lamp jumped on the letter I, it exploded into blood. The lamp looked at the camera with its red light. It faded into black, and the movie started. The first part played like normal, until the part where Marlin was knocked out by the Barracuda. I could hear it chewing. I heard it chewing on Coral and all the rest of Marlin's family. I cringed at hearing this, also feeling a little heartbroken. The rest played normally. Nemo grew up. He went to school and got captured at the drop-off. Marlin would still go out for Nemo, meeting Dory and then Bruce. The meeting went like normal until Marlin and Dory went to the mask that was dropped from the boat when Bruce went mad after smelling Dory's blood. He chased the fish throughout the submarine. They got outside the sub while trying to read the mask's address before Bruce broke out from the hatch that the fish escaped from before Marlin and Dory could hide in the spot where the missile was. They were eaten. I saw Marlin and Dory's flesh being torn apart as they were swallowed by Bruce. I flinched in shock of seeing that. I felt scared. It faded to the fish tank in the dentist's office at night. I was wondering why they skipped a few scenes, but shrugged it off again. The volcano's red light glowed across the room. It cut to Nemo swimming to the top of the volcano nervously, but the fish weren't chanting. I could only hear the ambient bubbles from the volcano. Nemo was right on top of the volcano. He gulped. It cut to Jax, the cleaner shrimp, turning the wheel on the volcano. Instead of bubbles coming out, it was fire, even though it was in water. Nemo screamed as he was being burned slowly. His burnt corpse dropped dead to the ground. I stared in shock at his dead body. It stayed there for 10 seconds before cutting to black. The credits rolled, but the original song, Beyond the Sea, was playing slow and distorted. I could not believe what I saw. I thought about destroying the DVD. But before I did, I recorded the whole movie and posted it to YouTube and age-restricted the video. Then I ejected the disc, looked for a hammer, destroyed it, threw the DVD case into my closet and threw disc one into the trash. To this day, I just hope I would never see something like that ever again.